guys, Thomas from Team Sakurazo here. Finally, we got the Battles of Legends Monsters Revenge card list. Uh, everything here is compiled by Dual Daddy. I'll leave him in the description or pinned comment below. I get a lot of news from him, so go follow him. If you guys enjoy these Yu-Gi-Oh! news videos, make sure to smash that like button. I also have a market watch later on today. Look at some of the cards that are reprinting, because some of it's actually pretty cool from what I've heard. If you guys are not subscribed, hopefully today's day or in your subscription. We're almost at 4,000 subs. Uh, thank you to all my YouTube channel members. Consider being one. If you're buying any cards off TCG Player, please use my link down in the description below. Helps out the channel to no additional cost you. And we're going to get right into it here. So, very quickly, Lovely Labyrinth is in here. So, this is where we're putting her. I thought they just put her in the tins like normal. I didn't think they'd squeeze her early, but I guess they did. Uh, but we're going to get right to it here. So, we have some old Legacy Fusions here. Uh, some of the pendulums we know. We got Tri Edge Master, which is a really, really good card for synchros here, uh, which is great. Now, we have a lot of anime only stuff. Uh, I think this is like one of the new Elemental Hero. Play. I think this is the alternate art for Flame Wingman or something like that. But the biggest thing here is we get duality. And there's going to be a Dragoon buyout. So if you want your Dragoons, go get them now because. You literally, any, if you have a light spellcaster at on, you know, like the field, for example, you can play duality and that's a dragoon in any deck, right? So, if, oddly enough, if you're playing prophecy, I think priestess is a level eight, um, I, uh, light, if I'm correct, maybe it's a wind, but you can use it for that. Uh, but there's a lot of other cool combinations, for example, Herald of the Arc Light is going to get bought out because of this. Remember, Mark a watch later today, uh, overviewing some of the cards that you can use with duality. But yeah, if you got your Herald of Arc Lights and your Dragoons, like I told you, uh, yeah, duality, I could see this being a big money card here. Now, on the next uh, page over here, uh, we got some of the, sp uh, the spiders here, which is like kind of weird that we're getting them, but not bad. Uh, we've got the War Magus here, so I know a lot of some people like that. The Volcanic, well, first of all, we have the Sky Striker Secret, which is pretty awesome to see. That's why we got the Engage to I believe. And, uh, we also got Volcanic Show here. Now, this was a super originally, or not originally, but in Speed Duel 5. And that was our only hollow version besides Ulti and DT. So, it's really good that they're reprinting this as an Ultra. Very good pick. We have the Dark Arm Dragon also as a 25th. 25th, I'm cool with that, but I'd rather just spend my money on a ghost. Aratama, I said this is either going to be throwing Monster Revenge or as a super in OTS 22. I thought OTS 22 more. Looks like I was wrong. Uh, quick fix here as a 25th is odd to me. Whatever. Uh, Ibli over here as a secret. We already knew that, but great pick. Uh, Photon Vanisher, I think it's cool that even though I don't like Photons or giving the card that is good, an Ultra reprint, especially because this was a little bit of money. We already knew about Nessie, which was good. Math Max Sigma, very good pick. That's a money reprint here. Some upgrades to the Punks, which is very cool. Uh, I think they should have gave, well, the Zet I'm at from a Super Ultra is fine, but I'm surprised they didn't put this as like a Super in OTS. Fox, we already knew and all that, very good. We already knew about the Brave stuff. All that we already knew about all uh, a good amount of the punk stuff, which was great. We also have Sprite uh, Carrot here as a ultra rare. Uh, so instead of you know giving all the stuff OTS supers in and out, they're just gonna throw an ultra of this for the Sprite players. I think that's very cool. I don't recognize this card at all. I'm not gonna pretend like I do. This card just got reprinted and they're reprinting it again. I I what? Why are they putting? Okay, they reprinted this card. I think it was a super. Uh, and what in cybernetic literally our last corset cybernetic horizons not cybernetic horizons cyberstorm access eh. and they're already printing as an ultra rare that's a dumb and weird pick whatever whatever i guess the biz steel card as an ultra i think this was going to be squeezed as an ots super and i'm kind of glad it's not because i don't like it when they they print cards as common so they could print them as super either very recently or like like or same day because i believe in ots 21 uh, one of the super cash cards was released like same week as it came out as a common and i was like that's ridiculous uh this card is an old fusion out of lightning storm that got reprint that got bought out i think once maybe twice but i think once as a su weird super poly target i guess they're just reprinting it here it's gonna look cool but it's gonna be like 10 cents uh, but yeah, uh, some very good reprints here. Absolutely. The next page here, Junk Archer for Edison is a one, a 10 out of 10 reprint. Now, I don't really see this card in Edison, but the, this card was hitting 
over $25 for a very long time. Great reprint here. Amazing Dragon as a secret is going to look amazing. I have CRs, but it's going to look amazing. Uh, 10 e needed a reprint for a while. Card was always above $10. Very glad to see that, okay? So for these synchros, gr good reprint, amazing reprint. It's fan service reprint, which is fine. Uh, we have Medolce Queen Tiramisu as a secret right now. I cannot wait to own this. But what makes me so shocked is the next pick. But you guys know Medolce Queen Tiramisu is my favorite XYZ in the game. This card needed a reprint for a long time. They always like slowly put Medolce's in reprints. Like our, We got some of the reprints for Medolce's in 2020 in Dual Overlord. And we're like, wow, they should have put Tiramisu and some of the other cards in here. They finally did and they kept doing it. Uh, like very slowly, and they finally gave us Tiramisu. Great reprint. Number 92, Heart Earth. Now, I the reason I didn't like Battles of Legend Armageddon, which is a very, an old set now, is because they put C92 and not this card. Why they waited all basically a dec over a decade, over a decade, people, to reprint this card, I have no idea. But good thing it's getting a reprint. App 10 out of 10 reprint here. Like, is this going to help sell set? No. But at this point, having a number card that hasn't been reprinted is just wonderful. Uh, the Jin as an Ultra is nice. Old Rare that keeps going up. Thought they'd make it a Super, but I'm cool with it here. Herald of Pure Light got bought out before, so that's cool. I, dude, if they made this a 25th, I would have screamed. I would have loved that. Ultra 72. Uh, I, I don't know if this had a reprint or not. Uh, Dante's Secret in 25th. We already knew that, but cool. Uh, then we got Potal Myas as a 25th. I don't really like that much, but whatever. Uh, they didn't put Trevor here. But, which is really odd to me. They put Zeus here, which is good. Uh, the Stellar's need reprints. Why they're not putting, like, Deneb and all that into this, I have no idea, but this is just the list so far. Anyway, uh, I'm just making sure. They didn't put anything, like, noteworthy that I skipped here, like Deneb or anything like that, right? Uh, no, they didn't. Okay, cool. Now, we also... So, I think this is very cool. The Zeus reprint's great, because uh, we needed one. The Ultras were, like, at 23. Platon Myas at... You know, was some money as well, but mm. uh, IP. Some people asked me today how the 25th is gonna, the Starlight's gonna be affected from the 25th. I think that the Starlight is gonna go down, uh, for sure. And I like that this has a 25th. I'm glad about it, but I don't think Starlight Earth is gonna tank at all. Dark Hole as a secret. I mean, it's just cool to have. Uh, I remember like Legendary Collections were always liked. It's gonna be cute. It's gonna be if this is like 25 cents, it's gonna be a good dollar penny stonk. Terraforming as a secret error. Love it. Love it. Kaiba put this as a secret error. Now we have this as a secret error. Good. Uh, Dimension Fissure needed a reprint. Uh, Macro Cosmos got one, so very good. Super Poly. They're squeezing another secret reprint out of this. I think this card's going to get hit soon. I, I really do. They're squeezing a little too many reprints here. The Book of Eclipse is cute, but too late. Uh, you have the Skysaker Engage alternate art. Uh, we knew this, and it's also a 25th. If I get a 25th, I would definitely play one and then one original. I would definitely would do that. But I might just try a secret and an original. Mathematic Equation, good reprint. We are in uh, right, very good as well. Uh, they put this as a 25th, which is, like, odd. But, okay. Uh, then you kind of have some of the other cards as reprints from the... Um, I actually don't even know what some of these are, but I know these were in uh, the same set. It was Greg Creators. I think these were more um, adventure cards, but you just don't use them besides unless you're playing pure. But I guess it's cute. Uh, you have the Sprite Smashers as an Ultra instead of a Common. That's cute. Putting Macrocosmos here again. Cool. Uh, you got Welcome Labyrinth. Cool. And that's a t we already knew this was going to be in here, though. And we got Thunder Discharge. I don't recognize this card at all, personally. But, hey, so far... Great set. Very, it's got a lot of good reprints. Like, it's got a lot of great reprints for older players, middle, then recent. And that's what it's all about. The 25th, I think, could have been a little bit better. But over... I mean, you know what? I'm going to be honest. I'm mad that Medolce Queen Tiramisu didn't get a 25th. I mean, they're giving, giving very, very stupid things 25th. Like, this... Uh, they're giving, what else, a 25th? This was very dumb. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't have to explain that one, do I? Um, got some other 25ths here, like the, you know, the Synchro, the Arm Neos, you know, some of the Legacy cards, which is, or, you know, support for collectors, I guess, which is cool. Why didn't the Wingman get a 25th? You know what? You know what? The 25th picks were pretty bad. You know what? I'm going to sell on this. But we haven't seen the full list. 
Maybe I'll eat my words, but a lot of good penny stocks here. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button. But what I want to know in the description below is what you guys think of these in the comment section below. I love to hear it. Uh, market watch later on today. I might delay the market watch to like six, seven. I kind of want to see how these prices are affected. Like for example, the Queen Chimisu reprint, Junk Archer reprint, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So look forward to all of that. And remember, we got the Labyrinth card over here getting a reprint. I don't really see uh anything else here, but yeah. Don't know why they also didn't put the other Tower Knight cards here. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.